<laughs> okay, look, Dr. Wayne Hope, thank you so much for coming in this morning to enlighten us on Rupert Murdoch. Thank <laughs> Thanks you. very much. Well, still to come, who's been sleeping out in the cold to draw attention to homelessness in New Zealand? And we'll bring you more on the Kim.com saga as his lawyer tells First Line. New Zealand authorities have been overreacting. Right now, it's time to look at the sports stories making news this morning. Here's Sam. Thanks, Simon. All right, well, Utah baseball took its lumps in its first few years in the Pac-12, which historically is one of the best baseball conferences in the nation. Hi, Brittany. Oops. <laughs> Uh, Welcome to YouTube. Yeah, hello. That's going to make somebody's uh, uh, something. All right, let's go to the highlights. Oh, my God. Come see. <laughs> Look at that dog. <laughs> that is so great. <laughs> Are they looking at that? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. 서울과 경기 지역에서 오늘 새벽 5시쯤부터 굵어지기 시작한 눈발이 지금도 계속되고 있습니다. 그야말로 한방 눈이 쉴새 없이 내리고 있는데요. 중계차 연결하겠습니다. 박대기 기자, 지금도 눈이 정말 많이 오고 있군요. 네, 서울 시내는 지금 현재 눈을 뜨고 서 있기 힘들 정도로 많은 눈이 내리고 있습니다. Good evening and welcome to BBC News. I'm Martine Croxall. It's nine o'clock. I'm just going to move back to the uh, main set. I know this has happened before, uh, but here we are. If I sidle in, you can pretend that you haven't noticed. Here we are. Lewis Hamilton has won the Formula One World Championship for the second time with victory in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Uh, every election throws up something new and this one has thrown up something called a dank meme. Uh, according to the website, Know Your Meme, and the, there is such a thing as a, a, a website called that, a dank meme is uh, one that's intentionally bad or bizarre, an ironic expression used to mock online viral media and in-jokes that have exhausted their comedic value. Uh, and this, uh, that we just saw was a dank meme put up by the AMWU against the Prime Minister. So watch your dank memes. When on space missions, astronauts get used to eating freeze-dried foods. But today there's something fresh. Astronauts on board the International Space Station were able to sample some red romaine lettuce. The lettuce is special because it was grown in space on the ISS. The concept of a space garden is necessary for future deep space missions, such as the one planned to visit Mars in more than 15 years. Love it. Agriculture that's out of this world. Gotta say, it seems like a better idea than eating food grown on Uranus. Uh, let's take a look at the game of the night. <laughs> 